Hi, my name is Bill Andrews. I never believed in aliens until I came face to face with one. Hey guys, Bill Henderson here, and I wanted to say that this one was a really crazy one. Uh, I was meeting up with my friend in St. Shores, we are about to head over to Toledo Bay when he discovered that there was something up in Mount Chiliad. As you hear, I was racing to the scene, I was really excited. Uh, I was about here, about to meet up with my friend Dino, and we were going to go explore this thing. Um, this was a pretty crazy find. I hope you guys enjoy. At this point we got our aircrafts and we decided to head up Mount Chiliad to uh, confront the, air, the uh, unidentified aircrafts. However, on our way to the uh, unidentified aircraft we decided to land on the mountain because visibility was not as good that night. But you can see in this clip, you can really see the UFO up there and me and Dino were getting really excited. Um, so yeah, on our way obviously. You know, the mountain is very steep and we weren't climbing as much as we wanted to. So we decided to land on the side of the mountain and um, take matters in our own hand. I brought my sniper here to check out what was going on with the UFO and I decided that I might need to get closer to get a good shot of this. Dino and we were going to talk about our plans for our next adventure which was going to be in Polito Bay. After a long day of driving at noon we finally made it into the beautiful town of Polito Bay. Here I was checking my phone you know got really bored and I was here meeting up with Dino uh, we were going to get some gas, and we had some pretty crazy stuff planned oh for today. Gosh. After we met up, we quickly got some weapons. Here I'm holding a rocket launcher, which should be able to take out the any, any sort of alien aircraft. Uh, it's been tested, and this is the type of stuff that took down the one aircraft in uh, Polito Bay, which is where we're at right now. Speaking of that, we're gonna go check out the crash site to see if we can find anything. But first, we made it up to the main investigation point. 
this was a pretty, pretty insane point here. And uh, this is where around three or four UFO sightings have been found in the past week or so. So this is pretty big stuff. As you can see here, it's a perfect area. You can see the ocean. Uh, over in this direction is where they found around two of the UFOs, one in front of ours and um, the other one there. You can see Dino was going pretty crazy out here. He loves off-roading. Uh, out here somewhere, there's supposedly a UFO crash. So that's where we're going to go next. Alright, so here we've got our, um, our scuba gear and a dinghy, and we decided to... Uh, head up the coast to explore to see if we could find any UFOs out here crashed into the uh, deep, deep waters of Polito Bay. Dino was still going pretty crazy. He's got a pretty, pretty rad truck. Um, I guess there's nothing really to say here except for uh, what we found. We didn't really find anything out here uh, as it gets darker and you know, you can't really see anything, but we're hoping to explore this. A bit of coast in the next episode or maybe in a few more episodes um, as we go on we're definitely going to find something out here we were definitely getting readings and um, I know that we're close to something okay here we are we have found the UFO again it was up on Mount Chilia doing something it looked like it was observing everyone as you can see here it just looks like stars from down below the town but as we get into it, you'll be able to see that this, uh, these, these aren't stars. These are actually this is a UFO. It's pretty insane. Uh, as you can see, Dino's down here. Uh, Dino, I don't. He was trying to find out, you know, what happened to his truck. I think someone might have towed it or something. Um, anyways, this was pretty insane because this is the first time that we have found two UFOs in the same location, or per perhaps just one in the same location twice in a row. Um, we were going to try to approach it, but there's no real way to get up to Mount Chiliad besides dirt bikes. So we're going to have to come back to this in another episode. Uh, for now, this is pretty insane evidence as to what happens. But this next part is insane. You can see down there, we saw a military aircraft, a jet. And it appears that it was about to take off, which was really weird. Me and Dino got out of there. Um, as you As we were observing this beautiful UFO that we had caught, we heard the jet noises getting louder from the beach, and we found out that the jet had taken off, and it was doing something with the UFO. As you can see here, it was firing upon the mountain. It looked like it was fighting something, so we just kind of sat back and watched. As you can see here, it appears that it's trying to fight the, uh, the UFO. This is pretty insane. It shows that the US military is very active with the UFO searches, just like we are. I'm gonna shut up now and let you guys figure out what's going on with this. disappears with the jet. The jet also disappeared right over Mount Chiliad and you can see here that you can see someone parachuting down. It looks like a civilian shoot but that is indeed a military shoot. Uh, we're still confused about this part. Uh, Dino didn't see any of this. He was peeing in a bush but uh, this was pretty insane and the lightning afterwards is a phenomenon known as an electric magnetic pulse also known as an EMP, which can destroy any aircraft, which is what I think happened. Uh, we have some mighty great evidence, including some readings that I got from my truck showing that uh, there was actually waves of magnetic energy pulsing through Polito Bay. This is a pretty good find. So in the end, if you are ever in Polito Bay, make sure to keep an eye in the skies because there is definite UFO activity out here. We would like to thank you guys for enjoy enjoying this first episode with us. Uh, please consider to like and subscribe for more episodes like this one right here. Um, 
Next episode, which should be out very soon, we're going to be hopefully tackling another UFO mystery in the Blaine County area. So for now, me and Dino are going to get some rest, but stay tuned for more information about UFO hunters.